Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. It's propaganda. 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 Don't f***ing join. Propaganda. It's all propaganda. Psyops. Now, if this is propaganda to make young guys think that there's hot girls in the army so that they join, it's messed up. And you might say, oh, it's pretty obvious she's not actually in the army. Who would fall for this? you got to think, a lot of young guys are impressionable. They don't know what they're going to do with their lives. They've got no direction. Someone comes up to them or they see some bullshit on TikTok and a lot of them are going to do it. Whether that's joining the military or paying for some shitty course. Respect to those two guys for exposing it, though. It's got a bunch of views, even more than the original now. Hey, baby, come to Dubai. Habibi, send me money to come to Dubai. No money, no Dubai. No Dubai, no Habibi. Yalla. Simples. I told a guy I liked him and then I ghosted him a few days after. He confessed to me by giving me a note. Like a paper that said, I like you. Like the yeah. second grade? Like, like, that's not romantic at all. Well, ghosting like him isn't romantic either. No. Friendly fire! Point of view, you go on a first date and he's a menace to society. Yo, it's like, do you want to go get a bit of donuts? Sure. <laughs> Come on now, dog. Come on, man. What you gonna do? Oh shit! What the? F What's your number, girl? Uh... Oh my god, bro. Oh hell no, man. What the? F man, get your ass on, man. Get your goddamn ugly. So the other day it was the FIFA Awards, which is just an award show for footballers. And when the women's part came along, you can see how the people reacted in the comment section. I do feel like women's football's getting a lot of hate, but I do think they brought it upon themselves. Just the way they're complaining and saying they deserve the same amount of money as the men. They'd have just kept themselves to themselves and kept playing. I think people would just not give a shit. <laughs> Three, two. How many numbers is in the alphabet? Numbers? Yeah. 26. 26? 26. 26. She didn't have to cut. There are no numbers. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna lie. She the only smart one in the group. I think that's what they like to call unspoken riz. Does anybody else eat their bananas like this? So I just have a small banana and basically what I do is I open the top. Oh my gosh, you're literally my dream girl. No, she's not. She sleeps all day, has one class, but still manages to miss, never goes out, always home, the most disgusting, dirty-ass room, doesn't wear underwear or bras, always naked in her robe, goes to church every Sunday, hungover, snap score, humor and style of a teenage boy. Oh, wait, I forgot. She got cheated on by the same ugly-ass white boy a bajillion times and still took him back. <laughs> Point of view, your Tinder date is picking you up, but you look nothing like your pictures. Hey, how are you? Marie? Hi. Uh, oh my god, you're so pretty. Um, do you mind doing a quick spin for me? Bye, bitch. It's very easy, very simple. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Uh, yeah, neither are men. That's why you're yapping to a f***ing phone instead of a boyfriend or a husband. We go. Who is going to tell me what happens at guys' sleepovers? <laughs> <laughs> ah, here's why the gym does not matter. I'm tired of guys that are like, oh, you know, I'm going to the gym, I'm trying to get fit. I feel like I have a pretty decent tone. I don't need to go to the gym. Right? Because you pull up to the gym, making less than 10K a month, pulling up in your bullshit Corolla, and I pull up, I'm on the flare. It's not even a contest, dude. No one gives a about your muscles. Most of the guys that go to the gym, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're stupid all that pre-workout that you're taking is making you more stupider bruv the amount of money you got in your account doesn't change the fact that you're a muppet money does not buy class you can have all the money in the world and you can still be a lame and i'm not saying money doesn't help and women aren't gonna want you because you got money because they will but if you're a complete fucking lame they're never gonna truly respect you it's a hot girl summer my boyfriend just broke we just broke up like three weeks ago so you've been running up the scoreboard hell yeah how many points have you added to the scoreboard too many there's no limits to it bruh get some help I be wanting a girlfriend so bad. Wife, kids, marriage, all that. And then I see stuff like this, and I want to die alone. Don't be getting brainwashed by these women on TikTok and the rest of social media. They put all the most toxic bullshit to go the most viral. Half the shit you see is probably not even true. They're probably not even thinking like that. Real grown women don't sit at home making little TikToks to antagonize men. Nobody's safe. I'm sorry, but nobody's safe. Please look at this filter. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs>
This is going to take the catfishes to a whole nother level. Be safe out there. This is terrifying. This is another thing that's dangerous in this brainwashing society into thinking that everyone looks better than they actually do. These TikTok filters are getting dangerous. AI is getting ridiculously accurate. You got to stay safe out here, fellas, and don't believe everything you see. Would in this case, be patriarchy. It's a system in which men hold more social and economic power than women. The United States is not a patriarchy. Stop perpetuating this lie. Patriarchy is a system of society or government in which men hold the power and women are largely excluded from it. And just to be clear here, exclusion means to deny access to or bar someone from a place, group, or privilege. Women are not barred access from any place, group, or privilege in the United States. You keep perpetuating this lie so that you can have excuses for your shortcomings in life. And for anybody that believes the United States is a patriarchy, which it has not been for many, many, many decades, ask that person what needs to happen for you to finally say the United States is not a patriarchy. Guess what? They're not going to have an answer for you. They just want to keep perpetuating this falsehood. Well done. But see, that's what I just be doing. Ain't no We're not really in a position to be picking and choosing that's anyways. Beggars cannot be choosers yeah. type shit. Okay. That was all. Not a single match is crazy. $40? Not a single match is crazy. I'm not going to lie. There. Uh, chat. So now what? <laughs> now what? Yeah. Matches should be rolling in any second mm -hmm. here, huh? Just yep. give it a little bit. Maybe refresh. Maybe that's why it's not. Maybe, yeah, maybe refresh. Maybe we can just got to refresh. Now I get why some of you might find this funny, it looks like a scene out of Superbad. But honestly, I think it's lame and it's a bit sad. They look able-bodied, they look young. Get to the gym, work on your mind, work on your body. Then you don't need to go on f***ing Tinder and pander to women. All they're doing is sitting in their room, putting women on a pedestal, thinking, oh, we could never get that. We're not good enough. As a man, you can make yourself good enough. And a lot of people know what to do, they just don't fucking do it. I'm telling you, you got a boyfriend. Uh, I don't know, do I get a boyfriend? Hey. Not with you, though. Oh. Let's just kiss already! <laughs> what are you doing later, though? I'm going to bed. What are you doing later? <laughs> you what are you doing? What y'all think I should do? I think you should bring her home. <laughs> I'm not that easy. And that's what I respect about you. How would you know that? That's me. No, I, I don't know that, but knowing that now, I respect that about you. Really? That's my number, right? We'll be seeing you. She's definitely got a boyfriend, otherwise she'd just say, no, I've not got a boyfriend. Girls like this put me off when you know they've definitely got a guy and they're going behind his back. See ya. Were you cheating on him with your baby daddy? Yeah. Holy crap. You found a guy who was willing to accept you as a baby mama and took care of you, another man's child, and the respect you paid him was to continue to sleep or to have with the, mm, with the, with the, with your baby daddy. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. And as I always say, if she cheats, she belongs to the streets.